Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Angular, we will learn about some advanced things of uh, Angular pipes. In last video, we also talked about uh, pipes, but that was the basic things. In this video, we will learn some advanced things. So first of all, I will tell you how you can use parameters with the pipes. Then I will tell you how you can use two pipes at the same time. We will talk about number pipes, JSON pipes, which is the most important pipe in uh, Angular according to me because it can save you lots of time. After that slice pipe, currency pipes and uh, at the last we will discuss some interview questions also. Now let's start with the first point, params with the pipes. In last video, I told you that how you can apply a basic pipe. Let's say our title which is coming from our TS file and the pipe and then we just type the pipe name and it will convert our text to the uppercase. That's a simple pipe. So now let's see how you can use the params with the pipe. So for example, you want to uh, divide your string in a parts. So let's say you just need to get the some specific part from your string and how you can get you can use a splice a pipe and with that you can also use params. I will tell you how. So let's say you have a title string and you want to use here slice uh, which is our pipe. And you want that your string start with the mm, third character and should go up to the eighth character, right? And these two are the basically parameters. When you want to pass parameters, you can pass with the colon and then your uh, parameter value. Keep in mind, you cannot use uh, parameters with the all pipes they are available only some specific pipes so now let's check out the output and here you can see that we got the ULRA because this is started from uh, the fourth character just after the thir third character and go till the eighth character according to our parameter values all right so now let's talk about uh, most reliable or you can say that the most time saving pipe which is uh, json so let's say you have a user uh, object right and uh, it have some values like uh, name and it's do and uh, then we can use age it can be let's say 30 or something and maybe you have a huge huge object here but uh, we will just take, talk on, take only two, par, uh, two uh, values. And now you want to just check out this object. So let's say you want to use it as, uh, you want to just check it without any key. And you will put here user. And now you will find that it will just return object of objects, right? So we cannot just uh, check out the values here. But if you just simply use JSON pipe, it will return its all values like this great so now let's see how we can use two pipes at a same time right so let's say you just get the values of your object with the json pipe and now you want to make the uppercase uh, make these pipes in the uppercase how you can do it simply use again pipe and just define here uppercase and you will find that your user will give you the uppercase uh, with the keys and values great so after that, uh, let's say you can use, you want to use a uh, number pipe and uh, you have some specific number. Mm. Let me define here number only. Let's say you have like uh, 003.30, uh, 3400, something like this. So you want to remove these extra zeros or some. That time you can use a pipe, number pipe. So just simply define here pipe with the number keyword and it have also a parameter but this is little bit uh, different from the other so inside this string we can we can put some values like uh, i can just put here uh, one that means it will take only one value and it will remove this two zero after that uh, we can just put here uh, decimal and if I just put here 2, now that time it will just take that minimum value after, minimum number of character after the decimal will be 2, right? 
and minus 3 that means these are the maximum character so now let's see the output of this 3.34 and here you can see that it takes the minimum number 3 4 from here and 3 from here and it just remove the two characters right so with that way we can also use the number uh, pipe and uh, let's uh, let's check out some uh, one of the most uh, interesting uh, pipe which is a uh, currency so let's say you have uh, some amount here let's say 100 and you want to put here uh, some current currency symbol let's say you want to put here dollar or uh, uh, pound or rupees that how you can put here the symbol of this number so simply use currency then simply use pipes and uh, not not pipes uh, quotes and then put here currency top type which is us T USD and now you will find that you get here uh, dollar right and let's say you just put here Great Britain pound then you will find here there is a pound symbol and let's say you want to use here uh, Indian currency then you just just simply put here I and R and here it is the Indian number so with that way you can uh, use the pipes if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box again uh, I have an interview question so let's say uh, you have a string let's say angular pipes or something so how you can make uh, the title case uh, I will explain you in uh, more let's say you have a string let's say hello how are you so you want to make a first uh, character of every word capital with the help of pipe so how you can do it uh, this is a very simple interview question so I'm not going to give the answer of this question you can just google it and uh, comment and thank you so much